Hey, good morning. I'm uh, working out this morning, and I'm talking about the the video on our TikTok that just went viral. Um, and hey, I know it's not that crazy huge for a niche business to go viral on something outside of the niche, but I want to give you step by step of how this happened, and we're gonna lift weights if that's cool. I'm double dutying just for my morning because I've got like 15 minutes here. But it'll be fun because we're going to go through it and I'm going to give you everything I've got. So I tried to do this for six months. I was trying to go viral for six months. So um, I remember saying this about six months ago. I was like, I want to go viral. And I was like, how much effort do you think it's going to take? Is there a good reason for me to do this? Do this? Everyone was asking me like, why? Why do you want to do this? Because you have a niche, which is our niche is roofers. And you don't need to do this. This doesn't make a ton of sense for you. I was like, yeah, but I'm learning the algorithms. And as a marketer, I want to know, I want to know stuff. That same day that we have a new videographer on our team and he did a very niche meme on our roofer memes account on Instagram. And that got shared by like 20 people in roofing and I told them that's bigger. That's probably really bigger for our business than this thing going to now it's gone to like 4.5 million views on Instagram and TikTok. Um, but I'm going to give you these principles, but first our first set. Let's do it. All right. I actually don't know how much weight this is. So all the principles I used on this thing, I did find proven winning content that was working previously and I just put a meme onto it. So I, so in my case, I used proven winning content. This is like old um, that somebody had put up um, and then I slapped something on top of it. So that's principle one. So I found winning content. The second one is I pissed people off. <laughs> and this is something I always see with viral memes uh, or viral stuff is the, a lot of the comments are negative. And I'm, I basically over the last couple months have been trying to be okay with that. Because if you, <laughs> I heard somebody say it recently, if you're okay, the, the more visibility you'll get is if you are okay with cringe. And I'm not gonna lie, my meme was a little cringe. I was actually making fun of Gen Z and millennials. And I am a millennial. And I knew people were gonna hate it. And I posted it anyways. Not because I was being mean or anything like that. Because it felt true to me. And because I didn't care. I didn't care that much if I did get, if, if people felt like it was cringe or the, I just didn't care. And I'll be real, when you're getting, when there's millions and millions and millions of views and there is people mad, you just don't care as much. It doesn't hurt your feelings as much because it was, it was millions of views. So I ended up being weirdly okay with it. Normally I would, like if there was 500 views and there's a bunch of people mad at me in the comments, I would be annoyed. But because it was so big, it just didn't matter to me. And then, so I, uh, roofer TikTok, Austin Bloomquist, shout out to Austin. He's been giving me tips and stuff like that. He's awesome. Check him out, roofer TikTok. He suggested a few things. So I kept on kind of doubling down and I'm going to, I'm going to keep on doing it today because it's still kind of going. I replied to all the videos or all the big comments, the ones that got the most likes and stuff like that. I replied to them with a video. So. It does mess up your feet a little bit. It doesn't look that cool, but I have like 20 or 30 videos where I'm just replying to the top comments. And then as well, 
I went live when it was kind of going nuts. So going live, replying to comments, and then even the ones where I didn't, um, the ones where I didn't reply with the video, I asked a question in response, because what I'm trying to do is get everybody still talking. So even if they're a little mad at me, and I, that's, that's one of the main principles here is they were mad. And that's why this thing went crazy. But I was asking an additional question. The point is, is when people are sitting down there following threads, the video is still playing up top. So that's part of the reason that it went so nuts. Um, we're going to do another set here. <laughs> and and I, I'm sorry, I was just saying at the beginning, I'm doing double duty with this. and um, But I've got some more advanced tips here in a second. That I think we're, we're sweet. All right, let's do this. You think we got 10 here? So next, advanced tips. Um, I was trying to get the sound trending on this meme. Uh, and so what I did, and this was at the instigation of Austin Blomquist, uh, Rupert TikTok as well, is uh, he was saying, we, you wanna get this, this sound trending. So what I did is I started sending it to people. First, I... Um, I posted on a different account with, hey, use this sound, it's trending. And then I started post, I, I started sending it to TikTok coaches. Because kind of what I'm thinking is, those are the ones I always do. I don't know if you guys get these in your TikTok feed, but they do like, use this sound, it's trending. So I was trying to get more of them to use it. So I sent it to like 15, 20 TikTok coaches. Right now it's at like, 320 uses, the audio, um, carnival cruises, um, commented. I don't know what else is gonna happen. It might be at the end of it. It's like at 4.5 million roofer, uh, sorry, Timishness on TikTok and then roofer memes on Instagram. Go check it out. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here. I think it was just everyone hated it. <laughs> or a lot of people were mad in the comments. There's either People were mad in the comments, so I feel like <laughs> I feel like if you can get people mad in the comments, you can get a bunch of people to add it to favorites, and you can get people commenting and just commenting in general. That seems like the winning formula. Now I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time doing this, uh, but it was fun. So I I tried to do this for six months. I probably posted, you know, besides our podcast stuff, I probably posted one or two things a day for the last six months. So it's a lot of videos. And some days I did like five, some days I did 10 um, before I finally got one to do this. I have gotten 20,000 and 100,000 views and even like 250,000 views before, but I had never done a million. And so this is a big day. This is a big day for old Tim. And thank you guys for uh, bearing with me as I post so much content. And uh, we've got one more set here. And then I'm going to uh, talk about other, a couple other things that are coming up that are sweet. Won't you work out with me? Yeah, do a couple push-ups. All right? Let's do this. Let's go. couple things today um, Dimitri's in our office Dimitri Lipinski of Roofing Insights 
he is doing a series called Marketing Fitness, and that will be, you know, it's a thing that he does. So go follow Dimitri and see that if you guys want to check out what we do for our marketing. And I think we'll share as much secret sauce as we possibly can there. And then I have to say it, Friday, Kurt Lennington podcast goes out. And it is so good, guys. Man, that guy is high performer amongst high performers. And his, his, all the, a lot of the roofers you look up to and respect, his profit is as much as their revenue. It's nuts. So just, I highly suggest checking that podcast out on Friday and, uh, Thanks for working out with me. And if you have any other questions about TikTok stuff, I literally am not an expert. I'm just a noob who finally went viral. And I'm super excited about it. And I'm trying to share what I learned along the way because it's fun. All right, y'all. Peace.